everybody, today I'm going to go over how to use the Windows Ubuntu installer. This is an amazing operating system installation because it's totally commitment free and it takes about 20 minutes to completely set up your dual boot environment. If you're brand new to Linux environment, I would highly recommend doing this install first. Go ahead and give it a try. Now, if you have any Linux regret, which I know you guys won't, because an Ubuntu is an amazing operating system, you can completely uninstall this and it's as if your Windows 7 or Windows installation was before. So now go ahead and follow these steps and I'll show you guys how it works. The first thing you need to do is download the Windows Ubuntu installer. So let's go to Ubuntu.com. You're going to click on the download link on the very top. Now you're going to see three options here. The first two options show require you to repartition out your hard drive and to create some bootable media, either a CD or a USB. We want to run the installation for our Ubuntu OS inside the Windows operating system. That is why we're going to download the Run It with Windows option. Go ahead and click on that and download the executable. Once you have the Windows installer downloaded, we're just going to go ahead and browse to the location and double click on the installer. The installation wizard will open up. It will prompt you for the disk drive space, how much you would all like to allocate. It will prompt you for the desktop environment. I'm just going to choose Ubuntu as my default. It will prompt me for the English language. There are many language options. So you go ahead and select which region of the world you are in and select your language. Lastly, you will be prompted to enter a password. This will be the password for the username just selected. The installation will just take a few minutes to complete. Once that is done, you can go ahead and browse to the folder the Ubuntu installer was installed in. It's C drive Ubuntu. You take a look at the files. If you look in there, there is a disk folder which contains a file that represents each of the required Linux partitions. You will see root.disk, swap, and boot. If you look close, you'll notice root.disk is the size that you selected in the wizard for the OS installation. To start up your Ubuntu install, restart your machine. You will notice the Windows Boot Manager will now have a second option of Ubuntu. Go ahead and click the down arrow and hit enter to select your Ubuntu installation. Once the machine boots up, go ahead and log in and enjoy your Ubuntu installation. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you need any help with installing software, I have some tutorials on that, and or the how to use the command line. There's a tutorial on that on my channel. So I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.